Hey everybody, welcome to the all-star video tutorial blog hop. I am so excited to share with you my project. I would like to call this project kind of unlikely pairs. So um, the lighter than air suite is such a really wonderful suite with the hot air balloon bundle. Um, you can get the all-star tutorial um, video class bundle for free or you can subscribe and when you purchase, um, when you subscribe for five months, the sixth month is free or you can get it uh, for $15. So all the details will be in the description of this video and on my blog post. But I'm gonna create a really cool project today featuring this bundle and I'm gonna combine it with, like I said, some unlikely pairs. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a petal pink card base. This petal pink is one of the colors that coordinates with the products in this suite. So that's kind of where I started. And I wanted to do a little bit of ink blending to create a background. So I'm going to start with, <clears throat> this is, I, and this is because I happen to have it, a four and an eighth by five and three eighths inch piece of basic white cardstock. But I'm going to use my um, blending brushes to color this. I chose for this um, two colors that I think are kind of unlikely together. So um, bubble bath and petal pink. And I reason I say that is that it's kind of like a warm yellowy orangey pink and then a very blue purpley pink color if that makes sense. So I thought those were kind of unlikely colors to go together. So that's our first unlikely pair. Now I'm going to just take my blending brush and get some ink on this and then we're going to blend on here. And I love doing ink blending because it's just a fun way to get a really great background whether you're doing a whole big background like this or a smaller section. Now oftentimes uh, when I make a create a, an ink blended background like this I like to stamp over the top of it we're not actually going to do that today but that's a fun thing to do when you're creating a background like this okay so I'm just going to blend this about halfway down maybe just a skosh more to get it halfway and then I'm going to do the other half in my bubble bath and like I said this is kind of a bluish purpley-ish pink versus like a pinky pink or a ready pink. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense to you. <laughs> it's it's kind of like we have these two odd pinks, light pinks. And I don't necessarily think they go together, which is why I thought they were kind of an odd pairing, but I like them together. Okay. So we've almost got this done and it's not critical that it's perfect. It can be like you can see on here, it's a little bit splotchy and whatnot. Okay, so I've got that on there and I love the look. Now what I'm gonna do is do my second unlikely pairing and that is going to feature the softly sophisticated uh, embossing folder. Now, this one is actually a little bit more like likely of a pairing. It's got this cool pattern on here, and this kind of reminds me of the sections of the um, hot air balloons. It's, I mean, it's a little different, but it sort of reminded me of this, you know, in this um, embossing folder. So anyway, I'm gonna take this piece that I ink blended and run it through my embossing folder. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We've got this layer. And I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. And um, one of the reasons why I wanna trim it is first, it's I used a bigger panel. And I like to do a little bigger panel than what I need when I ink blend, just because if maybe something didn't blend out the way I wanted it or whatever, I can kind of alter that. So I'm just gonna cut this to three and three quarters by five. Now in this case, I just, um, there wasn't any, you know, spots that I didn't like or anything, so we're good there. But when I trim this, I end up with this extra piece and we're gonna use that here in just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna take, and when I emboss this, I also die cut a few pieces. 
So I've got a layer of four by five and a quarter inch white that I'm gonna put my three and three quarters uh, by five ink blended panel on. And you can see I die cut the larger hot air balloon out of the center of this. I actually die, -cutted, die cut another piece as well, but I had a scrap already. Okay, so oh, I already love the way this looks. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. I'm not gonna adhere it quite yet. <clears throat> I die cut, as I mentioned, that larger one out of this panel. I also die cut this piece. I just happen to have a different scrap. And then I also die cut three pieces out of black cardstock. So the coordinating like baskets for these two um, hot air balloons and then the little banner as well as the this banner. So there's like this kind of banner and that kind of like flag banner. Okay, so I'm going to use those pieces to decorate um, my hot air balloon on the cover or on the front of this card. Okay, so to start with, I will take this piece and we're just going to attach the flags, which I think the easiest way to do that is with some liquid glue. So I'll just dab a little bit of liquid glue on here. Now, uh, you don't have to do every flag if you don't want to, but here we are. We're going to do every flag. <laughs> and then I'm just going to position that right on here, going across. So I love that. And then that'll go on our card. Um, and then, of course, the basket that coordinates with it. Now I want to put my sentiment on here. So the other unlikely pairing that we're going to use is the so Softly Sophisticated stamp set. Now this is bundled with that embossing folder as a celebration choice. So you can get this free with a $100 purchase in my online store. And when you order um, this week uh, through January... 14th, you can also get a card kit for free um, from, from me featuring this bundle. And I'll show you the cards at the end, so stay tuned for that. But um, I love this uh, stamp set, and we're going to use this um, in a couple places on our card, which is kind of an unlikely pairing. So the first is the sentiment, hello there, which I think is just fun. So I'm going to heat emboss that with some white powder on this little black banner. So I'll drop my embossing buddy on there and open up my powder. And then I'm going to use, you can use white ink or Versamark. I'll use Versamark on mine. So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it down right in the center like so. And then we'll emboss that. So I'm going to stick that on my tweezers here and <clears throat> let's heat her up. There's just nothing better than embossing in my opinion. It's just, it's the magic of stamping. <laughs> when I first embossed, the first time I ever embossed something, I was hooked. From the smell of the melted embossing powder to the fancy magic it was just amazing i love i loved embossing the very first time i ever did it okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop this up onto my car or onto my hot air balloon okay so we're going to pop this up like so get a few dimensionals on there and then I'll add that larger little case I can even take a mini dimensional for this because it's a little bit smaller than a regular size dimensional and we'll position that on here just kind of touching like so and then I'm going to add this. And I think I'm going to pop that up too. Because I can, you know? Why not? So let me take a couple of my edge pieces here. And we'll add them to 
this banner. Like so. And I just kind of love that black and white look on this card. I think it's just really kind of a little bit different and fun. Okay, so let's adhere this. To our card like so perfection um, now I want to also do a little something on the inside so our hot air balloon stamp set also has a really fun sentiment that says hot air balloon or I'm sorry <laughs> I was reading the stamp case and I meant to read the, read the sentiment not the name of the set just a note to lift you up Okay, so I'm going to stamp that on here. So on the outside, it says hello there. And then on the inside, it's going to say just a note to lift you up. And I'm going to kind of put that off to the corner, the bottom corner, like so. And then remember, we die cut this smaller uh, hot air balloon and its basket. So what I want to do is stamp on this a little bit. And that's where I'm going to bring in my softly sophisticated stamp set once again. And we're just going to stamp on here with a little bit of memento ink. So I'm going to take this. This is kind of the finer um, vine or leafy thing. <laughs> Those are official terms, by the way. And then I'm going to take the de the little flowers that coordinate with that. And I'll because my card base is petal pink, I'll stamp this in petal pink. And th this was designed to just line right up. So um, it's pretty easy to just get it all lined up so that all the little buds and flowers and things line up perfectly on top of those vines that we stamped in black. And I love doing this in black. It's just a little different, kind of fun, a little unexpected. So I'll take and adhere this to the inside of my card with a couple of mini glue dots. And then I'm just gonna tuck that in along with its coordinating smaller basket, like so. Oh, so cute. So just a note to lift you up. And I think that is so awesome. Now to finish this off, we're going to use some of our um, opaque, let's see, opaque uh, or rainbow adhesive back dots, sorry. All right, now these come in petal pink, um, bubble bath, there's also all kinds of other colors. So I'm gonna just add a few of these to my card using my take your pick tool. So I think I'll add a couple of these down here in the bubble bath, like so, and then a petal pink one up here, like that. And isn't this so cute? Really simple, but such a fun card. Now, if you would like to get even more inspiration um, with both of these bundles, you can do that by simply shopping in my online store. Now through January 14th, you will get a free card kit for three projects, which I'll show in just a sec, with the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, which is a celebration choice. You'll get a card kit with all the things you need to make these three cards um, for free with a $35 purchase. Now, if you spend $50 or more, you can also get the All-Star a video class bundle PDF for free. That's a $15 value because you can order it for $15 if you'd prefer. And then if you spend $75 or more, you'll also get a free embellishment with your card kit. So it's a great, great opportunity to get some really easy to create cards and a little extra inspiration for you. So I hope you loved this project. If you could give me the thumbs up, that would be so wonderful. It really helps with YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more awesome videos just like this one each week. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you loved my project and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.